how wicked can people be? I mean, why will you lock her up for days without food and water just because she says she wants to leave? Hello, amazing fam, you're all welcome. This story, eh, you get a CB. And since we're in the season of justice for Mobad, we are, you know, trying to, you know, talk about others or people who treat others as if they are not humans. Let's even talk about this madam and their house health issues. So this particular guy is a content creator. He said there is this girl called Onyeka, and this Onyeka is, you know, this regular face that he normally sees, that sometimes when he's outside his house, Onyeka will always greet him, you know, before she passes, and Onyeka knows him as a content creator. So it happened that for over a week, he has noticed that he has not been seeing Onyeka around. And being that, you know, this is a particular girl, they will always grieve. They will always say, oh, uncle, I see your work on, you know, on, on social media and all that. But he took notice of this thing that for a week now, ah, this girl that I normally see every day, I've not seen him, I've not seen her for a week. So out of curiosity, he went to meet the gate man, the security man, you know, that works with this particular woman. And then when he kind of talked to the security man, the security man told him that the madam locked Onyeka up for five days now in a room and that there is no food, that the madam has refused to give Onyeka food. So Tio came to the madam's house, you know, in disguise, pre pretending to be a delivery guy, called the woman out because according to him, he got, you know, the woman's contact from the, the security man, called the woman out to, you know, ask her about Onyeka. I'm just going to allow you to listen to what this woman said about Onyeka, whereabouts. Can I be okay Where is Onyeka? Onyeka. Who's Onyeka? Oh, sir. Onyeka. Oh! When you can travel the month ago, the parents came for her like a month ago. But I saw Yinka two weeks ago. So Yinka two weeks ago. Yeah. Well, Yinka is not around. Madam, oh, it's too rain. Go inside and bring Yinka out from where you locked her in. Excuse me. I know you don't know me. Obviously, I don't know you. My name is Tio Ayoms. Go inside and bring Yinka out from that house wherever you locked up i got i have my informations i not come here on i not come here on plan before i came here i have my plan already so go inside and bring a house so why you came to my house at first you said you were a delivery man and now you are shouting as you can see i'm dressed i want to go out she locked she locked lock. Small girl, poor girl, she look at it for 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 going to five days, five days. She not give her food, she not give her water, and they tell me rubbish. Who I think go inside and open the door. Who are you? Open which door? Did you know you got from anywhere? Because she do you? Because then she will say she not walk with you again. She won't go. She won't come out, and you and you and you locked her. I won't give you that right. Well, ask for the teller. Hey, come here, Jerry. Who can rob me? Come here. Come, come wherever you want to come. I know you put her. So guys, you've heard what she said, that Onyeka traveled, Onye in fact, she started by saying it's even a month ago, and it was when the guy now told her that, okay, I saw Onyeka like two weeks ago or so, you know, she started saying, eh, Onyeka is not around, why are you even asking of Onyeka and blah, 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 and at the end of the day, guys, if you've locked somebody, you've locked somebody for one day, you have, as in your conscience allowed you to even lock somebody for one hour, talk more of one day, two, three, four, five, and that girl, you, you know, when Tio was carrying the girl, you can see that she looked extremely weak. So what was her intention? To buy the girl and, you know, tell the family something else, or what, like how, how, oh God, five good days, no food, no water, and this girl was, you know, like, guys, I'm even short of words. 
and you lock somebody's daughter because she said she doesn't want to live with you again. According to Tio, the girl is living with this woman, but the woman is not doing anything for the girl. No school, nothing. All she wants is someone that will work for her, and then she's not doing anything at all to help the girl. She, the girl is not going to school. So the girl have looked and seen that, okay, if I continue to stay with this guy or with this woman, rather, I don't know what next. I don't, I don't even know anything again about my life it's time for me to just leave so that i'll be able to if it's business if it's handwork let me learn and when she told the woman that she wanted to leave you know to go and learn handwork and all that the woman decided that the best way to treat the girl was to lock her up for over five days without food and water and then i asked what's the intention and i look at her Find a woman like this, treating another person's child as if that person is not human being. And tomorrow we are shouting justice from the bad. And I'm asking you again today, are you this kind of person? Do you have that person who you treat as if the person is a trash? Do you have people you treat anyhow because you feel you are at the top? My people, you people should help me and talk. Like, took mouth for this matter. What do you think should be done to this woman? Because I felt like, you know, it's not just about rescuing the gear from, from her. I felt like human rights and all that should just come, you know, should be invited to deal with this woman. Like, guys, what do you have to say about all this? Drop your opinion in the comment section. And I'll... Oh my God, my eyes. I can't see. Oh, God, help me. Oh, help me. Help me. Help me. Where are you? Oh, 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 please.